The Ministry of Environment and Tourism received just a little more than the 500,000 Namibian dollars they recently requested from Cabinet to fight poaching on state-owned land and conservancies as part of the 2015-2016 mid-year budget review presented by the Finance Minister at Parliament today. The Sustainable Development Advisory Council was inaugurated um, in January 2013 and its main functions are to promote cooperation and a coordinate coordination between all stakeholders on environmental issues <coughs> relating to sustainable development and also advise the minister responsible for environment and tourism on a wide range of um, environmental matters with a particular focus on legislation policy and a compliance measures. The members of the Sustainable Development Advisory Council serve for a period of three years and their chairperson Dr. Milan Lindeke has served the council since its inception. I think the, the council is a, is a result of the first comprehensive environmental legislation in Namibia ever and as such <clears throat> the big task has been to understand um, the influences of all the various policies and laws um, and how that would shape uh, sustainable development. Sustainable development refers, you know, as a huge cross-cutting dimension um, but also it spans not only the present but, but it must ref uh, refer to the future as well. Tourism contributes almost 15% to the country's GDP and it is therefore vital that we conserve our natural resources. I'm Erica Gebhardt reporting for the news on one.